Now I'm going to look at landing gear. There's basically three different types available from Multi-Wee Copter. Uh, the first ones I'm going to look at are the long legs. Um, now, how they mount is you've got a bunch of screw holes on them and basically they bolt, as I mentioned before, onto the actual mounting pins of the boom block. So actually, if you're using the long legs, you want to fit them as you fit the pins in the first step of assembling the main frame. If you've gotten to this point with the main frame, you've actually gone too far if you want to use the long legs. But just for the sake of showing you how they bolt together, right? The trickiest thing with them is that they actually come with different offsets. Right? There are left and rights to them, and you can see it based on the hole positions. Right? One of these is a left and one of these is right. How you use the left and the rights is up to you, but you can see if you look at these screws here, they're together, which makes them a pair, if you like, or an opposing pair. If I grab another one, those holes are the same as this one, which means that this one will have the holes the same as that. So I've got a left pair and a right pair, and it's based on how those holes go. The reason they're left and right is those offsets, if we sit a boom in place, just temporarily, those offsets mean that the leg either sits behind the boom, or, if we grab the opposite one, the leg will fit in front of the boom. All right? So, depending on the instructions and what you want to do, you could have your front legs coming forwards, or, swapping them around, you could have your front legs sitting behind the front booms Oops. to give you a wider front stance. It's totally up to you how you do this arrangement. Okay? You can have it go any way you want. The instructions will probably show one way, but it really doesn't matter. As long as you work in the pairs and you keep it all together, you can end up with a nice wide front stance or a narrower forward front stance, which gives you, of course, all the legs coming forward rather than across. And you can do the same with the rears. Now, on a tricopter, how they mount up is like that. So the rear legs actually sit either side of the rear boom. Right. Nice red rear boom, so we can see this better. Right. So the legs actually end up sitting either side of the rear boom, like so. Okay. So you need to fit these legs as you fit the pins to the bottom piece. And when you fit the legs, you use the longest of the M2 screws in your kit, which I think are 14 mil, because they go through the leg, down through the base plate, and into the pin. Okay? So you want to use the longest screws you've got. Don't forget, you need your Loctite, because it's a metal screw going into a metal stud, and you can play with it. You can actually rearrange these things in all sorts of different fashions to make it look as cool, as insect-like, uh, as you like to get the booms further away from your camera close to your camera just you know it's part of the fun of putting these things together the manual shows you one way but there's it's a bit like Lego or Meccano you can mess with this as much as you want and do different combinations of everything okay the next leg I want to look at is the short carbon leg and I actually prefer these to the um, to the longer legs myself. I find the long legs uh, a bit too springy for my liking, but the short legs are nice and rigid. These come with typically with the Stealth Recon. Um, 
and they're an easy mount because all you've basically got is two holes in the end, right? They sit over the bottom of the boom blocks and using M3 screws, they screw into the bottom of the boom block. Nice thing about these is, is you can actually do the whole build before you have to fit them. You know, they're easy to take off in between flights for packing. I actually quite like these legs, but they're actually very easy to fit. If you're after a permanent mount, this is a metal screw going into a metal part, so don't forget your Loctite. That's how they go on. For my stealth armor, I went with these cable tie um, skids, and they're really easy to do, and I love them because a packet of 25 eight millimeter cable ties cost me about eight dollars um, and I've got more spares than I'll ever use and these are really easy to do basically they screw into the bloom block the same way that you screwed in you would screw in the thing I just drill a three mil hole in a bit of the cable tie screw it into the bottom of the of the boom block and then uh, I lay them flat out along the arm and I pick a point and in this case the point I picked was this screw hole and I just used this screw hole just here that little one just there and what I did was I got my side cutters and I cut every single one of the four off at that point then I flexed it back to produce a loop and used a thin cable tie to hold it with the end sitting against the bottom saddle of the mount and that produces a really nice loop and what I like most about these skids is they have a bit of bounce to them for those rougher landings and particularly if I'm flying in an indoor venue a little indoor fly uh, I find these are a lot more um, socially acceptable than the solid skids uh, because they're not quite as loud when you land on the solid timber floor of a gymnasium. <laughs>